So here I have the Jubatus B416 from Bonsai. It's a 114 scale buggy, four wheel drive, fully proportional. Here is the controller, very similar, if not exactly the same as a WL Toys controller, except I think the wheel is different and the WL Toys usually has a handle right here. But other than that, this is basically the same controller that you get with the WL Toys. You get your throttle trim here and your steering trim on and off button and takes four AA batteries. So in the box, you'll find a 1500 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt lithium ion two cell battery pack. Now this one, I, I got two batteries with it. And then you do get this balance lead charger, but you also get an instruction manual, pretty basic instructions right here in the beginning. But then in the middle, they have an exploded diagram of all the parts and part numbers for this car. And then in the back, they have the spare parts list right here, which is always good to have. And then you get a little wrench here for your wheel nuts. But that's all that comes in the box. Let's talk a little bit more about this buggy. With the buggy, it does come in three different colors. It comes in this orange, which I think it looks really good. This orange really pops, but it also comes in red and then green. The tires come glued, but there's no foams or anything inside. We'll see how good they do. We have friction shocks here. It's a little bouncy with those friction shocks. I think that would probably be one of the first upgrades I would do. I'd switch over to a metal oil filled shop. But let's pop this body off here and look underneath. And here we have the brushed 390 motor with a 35 amp ESC five wire servo, which is a 3.5 kilogram servo. Now the differentials are plastic. Uh, actually, there's a lot of plastic on this. Not much here is metal. So the metal parts are the drive cups, the drive shafts, and then the center drive shaft is also metal. And then also these pull rods here, these adjustable turnbuckles, they're also metal for the steering, but that's it, a lot of plastic on this. So that means there is a lot of things that can be upgraded to metal. Here is the battery tray. Now to open this battery tray, you have to slide this little locking lever here over and then opens up right like that. Now they do have a foam pad in here, which means you can take that out if you'd like to put a bigger battery in there. But we'll put our lithium ion battery in here that came with it. I do not like that it came with the Tamiya plug. It makes it hard to swap out other batteries because not too many other batteries come with the Tamiya plug. So then to lock it, you just that and clip it clip it closed. So I have my GPS here, my Sky RC GPS. We are going to do a speed run right out here. We'll see just how fast this 390 brush motor is. I did see in the description for this on Banggood that they're boasting a 30 mile per hour speed. I don't think that little 390 is going to do 30 miles an hour. It says 30 plus, so they're expecting even more than 30. So before we get started with the speed run, let me show you the proportional throttle. Oh, it's pretty touchy there. Barely have to move it. And then the steering, let's see how good that servo is. Oh, that's slow. That servo is really slow. So shocks and a servo upgrade would be probably the first thing to do to this. It's pretty quick for the 390, but it's definitely not 30 mile an hour. Let's see what we can get. Whoa, got a little. I think this is, I think that's slightly downhill. So let's bring it back here. Let's see what we get on the GPS. Max speed, 19 miles per hour. Yeah, that suspension is pretty bouncy. Okay, so I am going slightly down here, hill. Let's try going this way. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's see what we get. 20 mile an hour. Okay, so we get 20. 
So 19, 20 mile an hour, which is kind of what I was expecting, but it did not get the 30 plus like they're saying. Don't expect 30 plus miles per hour. Okay, we checked out the speed on this. Now it's time to have a little fun with it. See if we can get any type of air off of these jumps here. So we will test out the suspension, see how bouncy it is. And we will also just check out how durable it is. I also wanna see how good the tires are on this. Ooh. So these tires are not offering a lot of grip on this packed down dirt. <laughs> it's sliding all over the place. It's a little hard to control. I think I hit low voltage detection. Well, that's full throttle. Oh yeah, the ESC's flashing. Good thing I got two batteries. Let's come down here. Let's hit some of these bigger jumps here. Oh! Oh, there we got a little bit of air. Yeah, I am like all over the place with this. It's a fun little section here though. I think it needs just a little bit more speed. Oh, <laughs> I just lost, lost traction and it shot over right towards me. I think these are a little bit too big for it, but hey, let's try it. Oh, <laughs> I don't think I can clear that one. That one's a little too big. Oh, oh, look at this one. We'll come down off that. Oh yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's come down here. Nope, <laughs> just not enough speed. So the Jebatus, what can I say about it? The B416, it is dirty, scratched up, it took a beating. We're gonna have to peel this uh, clear film off 
so we can make the body look new again. So the good and the bad. So the good is it is durable. I put this thing through quite the beating, trying to jump it, get it over some of the bigger jumps, which that is the downside. It does not have a lot of speed. So the 390 motor is a little underpowered. Also, I'm not a big fan of these tires. I love the wheels and the suspension is very, very bouncy. And then the last downside to this is the battery. Now you get a decent runtime out of it. I got roughly 10, 12 minutes out of each battery, but it'd be nice if you could get a LiPo in there. It is just the Tamiya plug on the ESC that is the downside. So if you do want to run a LiPo, you're going to have to do some soldering and switch over to whichever plug that you prefer. If you're looking for an affordable RC in the 114 scale, I definitely recommend this because this is between 40 and $50. It depends when you catch it on Banggood. Now there is two different ads for this. The one ad is trying to sell this for $100. Do not buy this for $100. You can get the WL Toys 144001, which is 10 times better than this with much more metal parts. But if you can find it for 40 to $50, then yeah, go ahead, pick one up. Very fun little RC car. But that'll do it for the Jubatus, the B416 from Bonsai. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can join me when I check out the next Ready to Run RC.